Welcome to Art That Plays and Prays. I'm Ginger, and this is what I'll make. Today's episode is a watercolor demonstration using Kuretake Gansai Tambi. I know, I know, you might do a face palm and say, Another Kuretake? Oh, not again. <laughs> I guess I'm addicted to everything Japanese. But mind you, this time my focus is on these cute. Six pack sets, all made by the same company. Here I have the Kuretake gem colors, the pearl colors, and starry colors. Aren't these so cute? I'm so excited to use these today. The starry colors are just as the name implies, they look like stars, and they're all shades golden and one silvery pigment right here. The gem colors are basically Kuretake's primary colors with a metallic sheen added so they look like sparkly jewels. Now the pearl colors are the pastel shades and they're very luminous. The pigments here are more muted and softer compared to the original larger sets. Now together, these 18 pans make a great addition to the standard 36 pan set. And just like the original, each pan has an unnumbered label on the underside, which matches with the label on the box. It's just too bad that it doesn't have an English translation. All you see are Japanese characters here, but that to me, it's not much of a big deal. Now for this project, I'll be using Arches hot pressed watercolor paper. Um, hot pressed paper has a less grainy texture compared to cold pressed paper. The surface of the paper is smoother with almost no tooth, which is perfect for watercolor or pen and ink drawings. While uh, cold pressed paper is a bit more bumpy and absorbs a lot more water because of that texture. So it's actually great for paintings that need background washes. And some people actually prefer cold pressed paper. But for now, I'm going to use hot press and I'm going to uh, go with some whimsical birds. That's the, the theme for this episode. Whimsical is just a fancy way of saying the drawing is not realistic, so anything goes. When sketching whimsical birds, you can start off with just drawing two circles. One for the head and another for the body. Or you can doodle a pear shape, like what you see me do here. Or you can draw a blob or any oval shape actually that looks like a potato. It doesn't really matter. Any random spherical figure is acceptable, but there are really no set rules for drawing whimsy. So if you're following along with me, right, this, uh, don't be afraid to experiment or doodle whatever feels right for you. Funky, funky shapes or whatever are fine too. Besides, there are thousands of species of birds in the world, so I bet there's bound to be and a real bird out there that will match whatever you draw. Now then for the tail, just add a rectangle on the bottom sphere and for the beak, just a little triangle is fine. Anyway, one great thing I love about watercolor is that I never know what to expect with it. No, not like acrylics that you have a lot of control on the medium. With watercolor, the pigments tend to go with the flow of the water and that creates many pleasant surprises for my art. Sometimes unintentional mistakes turn into beautiful features in the piece. Well, of course, sometimes I make errors too, but I just cover it up. When painting, I always make sure my brush is loaded with lots of water. And here I'm using a Da Vinci Kolinsky Sable brush, which is pretty good with soaking up liquids like it's a sponge, so I don't have to repeatedly dip my brush in a tub. If you don't have a natural sable brush, that's okay. There are tons of synthetic brushes as well that mimic the properties of sable. I know Princeton and Escoda and even Winster, uh, Windsor and Newton have such kinds of brushes and they're cheaper than 
this Da Vinci. The most important thing is that you pick a brush that can hold a fine point because the pointy tip on the brush allows you to draw fine lines and get you you can get into the little details in your painting. All right, I'll just color away and test the Starry Gem and Pearl Kuretake sets. Go ahead and watch and decide for yourself later on if this is the set you'd like to try too. <laughs> 